Hello, this is Andy from the Engineers Academy, and in this video series, we're going to be looking at work solutions to the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam that will be sat by students studying a BTEC Level 3 National in Engineering. Now, the document that we're referring to in particular today are the sample assessment materials for the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam, and this document is issue 2 that is or has previously been available on the Edexcel website. The final question states a solenoid has an inductance of 0.4 henrys and an internal resistance of 5 ohms. The solenoid is connected to a 230 volt 50 hertz AC supply. And then we have a diagram of the configuration there. Now in the diagram, the solenoid has been represented as an inductor and a series resistor. So that's to represent the internal resistance as well as the inductance of the solenoid and we are asked to calculate the current drawn from the supply. Now in order to solve this question, we first of all need to find the reactance of our 0.4 Henry inductor, and then we need to find the total impedance in the circuit. Once we have the total impedance, we can then calculate the current. Now you probably recall from Ohm's law that V equals IR, but when we have a circuit with both passive and reactive components, that equation becomes V equals IZ, where Z is the total impedance. Now, if we want to calculate the current, which is I, we would need to divide each side of that equation by Z. So V over Z would give us the current. So the next question then is how do we calculate Z? Well, the total impedance of this circuit, it's measured in ohms, but it's different from resistance because it needs to take into consideration the fact that we have reactive components. Now, the equation that we have for calculating Z is as follows. Z squared equals R squared, which is the resistance of our passive components, plus X squared, which is the reactance of our reactive components. Or we can state that z equals the square root of r squared plus x squared. So the first step then is to calculate x for our inductor. And the formula that we use for that is x equals 2 pi f times the inductance. Well, 2 pi is just a constant. f is the frequency of the supply. And we see here specified in the question the frequency of the supply is 50 hertz. And L is the inductance of the inductor, which is also given as 0.4 henrys. Therefore, the reactance of the inductor is 125.66 ohms. And the units are still ohms, although it's slightly different from resistance of a passive component. So now let's calculate Z then. Z is the square root of R squared plus X squared. Well, R is 5, given on the diagram. That's for the series resistor. And X, as we've just calculated, is 125.66, giving us a total impedance Z of 125.76. ohms. Now finally we can calculate our current because we have our supply voltage, 230 volts there. So the current equals the voltage divided by the impedance, so 230 divided by our 125.76, giving us a current of 1.83 amps. And that's accurate to two decimal places. We know that the units here are amps because we've used SI units for both our impedance and our voltage. 